we have number line addition with regrouping. The number line is the easiest place to regroup because I'm not worried about where or what I'm going over. As long as I have two numbers, I'm able to easily hop forward or backwards and I can take it in as small of chunks as possible. So this tends to be the best strategy for kids who might be forgetting to move things into new place values when they're adding or subtracting. For this number, we're going to do, we'll do a number in the thousands. So let's do 3,120, let's change that so it's easier to regroup, 3,879. And we're gonna add it to 2,000, I wanna regroup all the way into the 10,000s. So let's make that 9,000, 562. So we're gonna have to regroup in every single place value. We're gonna start with our lower place value, so um, with our first number. So I'm going to have 3,879 on my number line, and I'm going to be adding this much. So my first step, especially when I'm regrouping, I can make this number as friendly as possible. So I'm going to start by adding one, and I'm gonna have 3,880, and make that a little easier to work with. So we'll say plus one. So that means of my ones, I've used one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Drawing the picture really does help, especially if you're making your numbers more friendly. And then we have nine thousands. So I will draw them out right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, and nine. So there are all my thousands. So now I have 3,880 as my new number. I think I can make that number even more friendly. I'm gonna try and get to an even thousand. So my, um, an even thousand. So I'm, my goal is to get to 4,000 right now. So my first step, I'm gonna add 20 and now I'm going to have 3,900. So we're gonna cross off 20. If you give yourself more space, it's not as messy. Since I'm using a whiteboard, I could erase them, but I like to keep them to keep track of what I've done because it can be tricky if you lose your place or if you forget what you're doing. So having it nice and neat does tend to make it a little easier. So my next spot, I want to get to an even 4,000, so I'm gonna cross 100 off, and now I'm gonna be at 4,000. So now, now that I'm at 4,000, I can easily add on, I'm gonna start with 6,000 because I know four and six make 10. So 4,000 plus 6,000 is going to make 10,000. So let's cross off six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have 3,000 left. So we're gonna add that 3,000 for 1,000. I'm sorry, 13,000. We're gonna cross the rest of those off. Now I have four hundreds that I can add. So let's add 400. So 13,400. One, two, three, four. Then for our tens, we have 10, 20, 30, 40 left. So we're gonna add 40. I am running out of space. So we're actually gonna continue our number line right here. We're gonna start at 13, 4,000. I'm sorry, 13,400, helps if I say it right. We're gonna cross that off. We're gonna add that same 40 so that we have space. Now we have 13,440. Now we're gonna look, cross out our fours. We're gonna look at our ones. We only have one more to add. So we have 13,441. And that would be our answer. The reason why this is the best for regrouping is my first step, I took this number and I tried to get to zeros. So I did all of my regrouping right here and the rest of my adding was using friendly numbers until I was adding on additional hundreds, tens and ones. 
where this tends to be the easiest way for kids to regroup um, after base 10. Where base 10, they do tend to really like, but it can get hard if it gets messy. Where number line tends to be the easiest to not drop anything or leave anything behind. 